okay once again welcome to login science friends today i'm going to solve questions on the doppler effect from november 2021 before i can start i would like to remind you and encourage you to subscribe to your channel and activate the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post new content for you down below is my name and the email address at which you can contact us if you have anything that you would like to let us know, feel free to use the email address down below. Okay, let's get started with the question. It was question 6 from November 2021. Let me read the question. The siren of a stationary ambulance emits sound waves at a constant frequency of 680 Hz. A man is standing with a detector that records the wavelength of the sound emitted by the siren as shown in the diagram below the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second 6.1 calculate the wavelength of the detected sound three marks solution 6.1 to calculate the wavelength of the detected sound you will need fl so when you look at the question let me get the question You can see the ambulance is stationary and the man is also stationary. Can you see that when you read the, the siren of a stationary ambulance? So the ambulance is the source, is stationary and the man recording the wavelength is also stationary. You can see a man is standing with a detector. So both the source and the detector or the observer are stationary. So FS is equal to FL because both the source and the observer are not moving relative to each other. They are both stationary. So this is going to be equal to 680 Hz. You can see. Let me do this. Okay. Because the source and the observer are stationary, they do not move relative to each other. Fs is equal to Fl. And in the question, you are given Fs equal to 680s. This is why we say this is equal to 680s. Let me do this. And you are told the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. So V is equal to 340 meters per second. Let me close this. Now you are going to use this formula so that you can solve for the wavelength. And the frequency to use will be the frequency detected by the listener or the observer or the detector. Because the question is asking for the wavelength of the detected sound. This is why you need FL. So you now plug in the values that you have. What is V? 340 is equal to you have the wavelength there times the frequency and now to solve for the wavelength you divide by 680 on both sides so by 680 this side and by 680 this side so this and this will cancel so now on the right side you have lambda which is the wavelength there is equal to when you have 340 over 680 this is going to be equal to 0 0.5 meters so the wavelength is 0 0.5 meters let's see the next question the next question now now they say the ambulance now moves at a constant speed along the road it now moves from being stationary it now moves the ambulance now moves at a constant speed along the road toward the man the detector now records the wavelength of the sound which differs from the previous reading by 0 0.05 so a new wave 
length is detected and the new wavelength differs from the previous one by 0.05 6.2 the question says state the doppler effect okay so 6.2 what is the doppler effect the doppler effect is the change in frequency of the sound detected by a listener because the sound source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound propagation so you can give this one when they ask you to give the statement of the doppler effect there is also another one if this one is complicated you can give this one the doppler effect is an apparent change in observed frequency as a result of the relative motion between a source and an observer so you have to read over and over until you get it so try to understand the statement okay let's see the next question Six point three. How would each of the following have changed when the ambulance approached the detector compared to when the ambulance was stationary? Choose from increased, decreased, no change. So six point three point one. Distance between the wave front. How will the distance between the wave front change? Okay, let's see. 6.3, 6.3.1, the distance between the wave front will decrease. So you will choose decreased. Let's see the next question. This question was one mark. The next question, 6.3.2, how would the frequency of the detected waves change now that the ambulance is moving toward the detector? So the frequency of the detected wave would increase when it's moving toward. You see, when it's moving toward, the frequency of the detected waves would increase. This is one mark. Okay. 6.3.2 increased the frequency of the detected wave will increase so you will choose increased let's see the next question now the next question is 6.4 calculate the speed of the ambulance so you need to calculate what vs because the ambulance is the source it's got a siren which is emitting sound waves let me use the next slide 6.4 you need to find vs the speed of the ambulance and you are going to use this formula so i have my sign day remember it is toward the ambulance is moving toward the detector so you expect fl to be greater than fs i'm not going to waste time on explaining how to choose your sign there is a video on the doppler effect where i explained how to choose the sign if you are lost you can check the video you'll be okay so for now this is the formula you need because you are dealing with toward situation the ambulance is moving toward the detector and now you are also given this information the speed of sound in air 340 meters per second can you see that from the question okay you are given the speed of sound in air 340 meters per second okay and you are also given fs there is fs 680s okay and you can see that the man is standing with a detector so you can see in the question a man is standing with a detector so this tells you that vl the speed of the listener 
or the detector or the observer is zero. Let me close this. What is FL? We don't know FL now that the ambulance is moving. It was equal to FS when both the source and the detector were stationary. So you are going to need this formula to find FL. So from this formula, you make F the subject of the formula. This is what you are going to get. When you divide by lambda on both sides, this is what you are going to get. F is equal to V over lambda. Lambda is the wavelength. And you can write this formula like this by giving F the subscript L and lambda the subscript L if you want. And this is equal to this. V is equal to 340. Do you understand this part? When you look at the question, let me show you. Let me get the question to this. So you remember when you calculated the wavelength in 6.1, when you calculated the wavelength of the detected sound. We are dealing with FL. So it is the wavelength of the detected sound. It was 0 0.5. This 0 0.5. And now when you read again here, it says now that the ambulance is moving, a new wavelength is detected which differs from the previous reading by 0 0.05. So it differs from the previous reading by 0 0.05 now that the ambulance is moving. This is why you have minus 0 0.05 because it differs by this value. So it's no longer 0 0.5 when the ambulance was stationary. When it's moving, now you have a new wavelength which differs from the previous. This is the previous by this value. This is why you minus. And now FL is equal to, let's plug this in a calculator. FL is equal to, so you have 340 over 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05. Can you see that? This gives you, can you see this is the value? 755.56. Let's keep it to two decimal places. 755.56. So FL is equal to 755.56 hertz. So you can now use this formula and solve for vs by plugging the values that you have you have all the values you just need to plug in the values and solve for vs so this is the formula that you're gonna need the same formula can you see you plug in your fl this is your fl is equal to see you have this part so you have your v 340 plus zero zero is for vl over V340 minus Vs and Fs is and you carry on you have this is equal to and now you have the 340 plus 0 which is 340 times there it is over 340 minus Vs you can now do cross multiplication to solve for Vs remember this is over 1 and now you have this times this to give you this. Can you see this times this, which is equal to this one times this. So you have this. Let me use my calculator. So you have this 755.56 times this times 340. So this is what you get. Can you see that? So it's 256890.4. This. 
and you also have this times negative vs it gives you negative this vs which is equal to this what is this equal to use your calculator again so you have 340 times so this is the answer okay okay this is what you have this on the left side is equal to you have this and you bring this to the right side so it becomes negative can you see the sign change this to this side okay and you have this i can continue on this space so this is what you have there is equal to can you see is equal to what is this equal to use your calculator again You do this so i've got this two three one two zero zero minus two five six eight nine zero point four this and it gives you this is what you get can you see that let me write it so this is what we have in the calculator okay now to solve for vs you divide by this on both sides so you divide this side and this side and this is going to cancel this and this so now you have vs is equal to you plug this in your calculator to get the answer for vs let me do this you have negative two five six nine zero point four over negative seven five five point five six this is the answer 34 so you can keep it as 34 so vs is equal to 34 meters per second the speed of the ambulance okay we are done with the question if you find value in this video don't forget to show that by your likes and comment subscribe to your channel if you haven't and activate the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post new content for you see you next time and take care